What do you understand when you hear the word critical? In aptitude tests, critical reasoning means finding important logical reasons to strengthen one's case or argument. Mastering critical reasoning will help you not only in entrance tests but also in your professional and personal lives. Let's first look at some of the actual questions tested at CAT and other aptitude tests to understand what critical reasoning means and what do the questions from this topic look like. As you can see, these typically contain a short passage and you are either asked to summarize the passage or make a statement about the author's position on the issue being discussed or make an inference from the passage. You could also be asked to find out assumptions being made in the passage. Consider the following situations in your real life. You will need to read articles or research papers for your work. If you can't summarize them for yourself or others, what is even the point of you reading them? Similarly, if someone is saying something to you or speaking in a meeting, you need to be able to understand what their take on the issue is. Suppose you are making a decision to start a company or invest in some project. You need to be able to understand what the assumptions in your decision are and be aware of what it means to have these assumptions. Even outside of your work life, having good critical reasoning can help you with so many things. It can help you always make logical decisions, avoid getting influenced by strong biases and convince people with logic. Questions pertaining to critical reasoning are almost a fixed feature in various different important entrance tests since almost three decades now. These questions typically present a few lines and ask the test taker to choose an option that does one of the following. Either it summarizes the passage or indicates the author's position or finds an inference from the passage or presents data that would support the assumption in the passage or presents data that would weaken the evidence or conclusion of the passage. These type of questions are mostly seen in verbal sections of aptitude tests but in a few instances we have also seen them in the DILR section. In any case, we will walk you through all the concepts ever tested on this topic in a small number of quick videos that will follow. We assure you, if you absorb all that we will share in these videos, you will sail through the questions from this topic, irrespective of how good or bad you think your English is.